What's up, y'all? We in my crib. Um, shout out moms for allowing me a place to live. <laughs> but in all seriousness, going forward from that, I am going to explain to you guys how you can achieve your first handstand push-up. And to start that off, we're going to go into the most important exercises that I think will help your journey with the handstand push-up, which is the wall handstand and doing the pike push-up. Both of these movements are extremely important for your gains towards the, towards the handstand push-up, not in regards of just strength, but the actual understanding of how the movement feels and just being upside down. Because one of the most important things for the handstand push-up, in my opinion, from my experience, was getting the balancing part right. It wasn't even that I lacked the strength. It was that I had no balance and I had no comfortability being upside down. So become comfortable being upside down. So like just be upside down more. Doing the wall handstand with your face facing towards the wall is going to allow you to practice the actual movement itself. And while this isn't as strength heavy, right, this is something that's going to actually help you towards the skill in terms of comfortability and understanding the movement and getting that balance. But it also, it does give strength gain, but not as much as if you have your back of the head facing towards the wall, which will definitely be more of a strength based movement. It eliminates the balancing aspect. It makes it just more of a, a hard pushing movement that will help you in your shoulder gains, which will help in your handstand. But I still will recommend doing it with your face facing towards the wall if you're trying to actually work towards the skill. The actual strength thing can be something you do separately, but I wouldn't recommend having it be the thing you're using primarily to get to the handstand push-up. Um, after that, it would be the pike push-up. This movement, I would say, is the overall jack-of-all-trades of, uh, of exercises that will give you the overall most bang for your buck when it comes to learning the handstand push-up. And this is just because of the actual movement that you're going to be in replicates the handstand push-up the most and gives you the ability to regress it to a level that you could do as a very straight zero beginner and then you can advance it by putting more load onto the shoulders by leaning forward more and and or going slower or elevating your hands to get a deeper range of motion deepening the range of motion makes an exercise better and gives you more gains in the long run because more muscles are recruited as range is increased so the way you want to really set this up is training wise, I would say train this once to two times a week. Give yourself an adequate amount of rest. Obviously, fill your body out. You don't need to practice this every day. And with time, you will eventually get the handstand push up. But of course, the time it will take is subjective. It can be, you know, five months, six months, longer. It all depends on the person and how they're training and how their body is with this movement. Some people can learn their front lever exceedingly fast, and some people take a longer time with it, but they can do things like the planche and the, um, and the handstand push-up with no issues. Don't really do some do too much comparing. Focus on your journey individually. So you should be getting stronger every week or every two weeks, but you should be feeling um, an increase, whether it's small or exponential, as the time goes on, because you're doing intense workouts. You want these workouts to be intense. You don't want to slack off on these, otherwise you're cheating the whole point. Work hard, rest hard, play harder. You feel what I'm saying? That's the mindset you should have for this. So you want to be in a state of your body's breaking down these muscles. And when you're resting, your body is sore. So you know your body's in a state of, you know, damage. So during this period of rest, you're going to be recovering, which is going to make you stronger. You don't want to be going like five days out the week working out because I honestly found that this isn't really effective in terms of gaining muscle or getting stronger. Um, Mike Menzer really perpetuates this mindset, and I recommend you guys look into him. But back to the main topic at hand. Unlocking your first handstand push-up isn't too hard. It honestly is something that I would say is one of the easier movements for me. And also, a lot of people may be asking for how the form should look doing a pike push-up. So I'm going to cut to a clip, and you're going to see um, an example of me doing a pike push-up, and I'm going to explain to you guys the movement, like the form cues you should be looking for. And I'm also going to be doing a wall handstand and explain to you guys, uh, you know, what you should be looking for in the form and the movement. OK, so I'm going to be giving you guys an example of both of the variations of the wall handstand push up. First, starting off with the one where it's more strength based. So I'm here, right? I come down. You see what I'm doing? Just a straight, it's like so simple. Straight up and down. Straight up and down. 
Shout out to my closet for lasting as long as it did. Shout out to my closet. <laughs> and then for the second variation, I'm going to have to do it from this angle. Excuse the mess of my bed. Okay? Yes, I cleaned up quickly before I made the video because I didn't want y'all to know. I have mental illness. JK. But, yeah, so you hear? This is honestly, the, I would say, an easy one to get into. So, you hear? Right? You hear? And then... You push up. Now, I think this is good because it does really do feel like the motion of doing the handstand as close as you can get if you can't actually hit the handstand yet. So I think both of these variations are very good depending on the goals. I think it's good to use them in conjunction with one another to get the balancing benefits and the strength benefits. But I do think the strength version of it probably should be your priority once you actually get the handstand. That's my recommendation. Now, like I said before, if you want to make any of those movements harder, you just elevate your hands and deepen the range of motion. And the gains will be immaculate. Immaculate. And now is for the example of a pike push up. So you go as far as you can. This is my limit. All right. I'm right here. And then you push down. You push forward, though. You put weight on your shoulders. So you lean forward. Push back up. That's simple. But of course, small little mistakes like. Having your weight primarily behind you can make the movement easier, which hurts your gains, and not doing a full range of motion. Keeping yourself closed like this. So if you just do like this, that's bad. You want to lean forward because you're trying to simulate the actual motion of doing the push-up. And less range of motion. As y'all remember, less range of motion recruits less muscles, less gains. So, yeah. And that's my video on how to achieve your first handstand push-up. Hopefully this helped you guys. Of course, update me on how this goes for you guys implementing what I'm telling you into your workouts. And if it, you know, goes well or if it doesn't, let me know so I can improve and overall know what to keep giving people in order to succeed. Have an amazing day. D-Balls out.